بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقٍ Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome back to a new episode Alhamdulillah Ramadan Alhamdulillah Ramadan is here I hope everybody's fasting, doing good deeds, and so and so. <laughs> Let's go on to the good deeds first. The good deed of the day is helping your family with chores around the house. Yeah. Do you know what a chore is? What's a chore? It means cleaning. Yeah, with the cleaning, with the work around the house. And also, you need to wipe the table, you need to um, um, actually wash the dishes, you need to tidy up your bed, you need to um, also tidy up your sofa, and then the last thing is you need to tidy up the floor. Yeah, you can also tidy up your toys, clean yeah. up um, after yourself, you can clean up the, every bedroom, you can help clean up your mum's bedroom as well. Yeah. Yeah, and your mum won't have to do much stuff because you've done it for her. That's a good, very, very good deed of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, cleanliness is half of faith? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now that we've finished the good deeds, let's go on to the hadith. Oh. The surah goes after. The surah goes last, okay? Okay. Let's go on to the hadith. Ali ibn Umar radiallahu anhu qal, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, bunya al-islamu ala khams. Shahadati an la ilaha illa Allah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah wa iqam salati wa ita'i al-zakati wal hajji wal hajji wa sawmi Ramadan It is reported on the authority of Ibn Umar radiyallahu anhu that he said Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Islam is built upon Five pillars. <laughs> Number one, to testify that none is worthy of worship but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Samiha, look at me. <laughs> Number two, to, for, to perform salah. To perform, to perform salah. The prayers. Number three. Three, to pay zakah. When you pay money to the poor people, that's Number what it means. Four. Yeah, when you perform Hajj. And number, number five, five, to fast the month of Ramadan, yes. which is this month. Mm. Now, on to the lessons of this hadith. Number one, that there are five pillars of Islam. Number two, that the Shahada is a pillar of Islam. Number three, that prayer is a pillar of Islam. Number four, that Zakah is a pillar of Islam, <laughs> when you pay money to the poor. And number four, that zakah is a pillar of Islam. Number five, that performing hajj is a pillar of Islam. And number six, that fasting the month of Ramadan is a pillar of Islam. Now, on to the discussion section. I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to answer it. Okay, number one, how many pillars of Islam are there? How many are there? Five. Yeah, well done. Number two, can you name the five pillars of Islam? Um, What's number one? Number one is um, two. Should I tell you? Yeah. Okay. Number one is when you yeah. testify that none is worthy of worship but Allah. And is. you have to say that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah, is the prophet of Allah. Yeah? Okay. Number two is to perform your salah, to perform the prayers. Number three is to pay the zakah, when you pay the poor people, okay? Number four, four. to perform hajj. And number five, to fast this blessed month, the month of Ramadan. Now that we've finished with the hadith, it's time to do... Surah. 
Yeah. Remember yesterday when I taught you Surah Nas? Can you say it now? Yeah. Well done, MashaAllah! You did it so well! I'm so proud of you! You see how my sister has learnt a surah in one day, MashaAllah! I'm so proud of you! You can teach your brother or sister a surah in one day. Inshallah, they can learn it very quickly. Maybe even quicker than you. You're still good though, mashallah. Okay, see you tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Oh,